So what you want to do first is cut the wire. So go ahead and cut, cut as close as you can to the terminal because this battery is toast and I can't really do it, use it for anything. It's a negative. And then this one, so this one was like this, right? So just keep one like the right orientation. It, it kind of helps that these are stuck together. So, <laughs> so, so that way I can tell. And then this one, you're just going to want to cut these off too. All right, so since uh, positive has to go like that, anyway, you're going to want to solder that on that. So that's the first one we'll do. Okay, so instead of uh, using uh, electrical tape, uh, I probably will still use electrical tape, but I'm going to be using shrink tubing to uh, after I solder it on to insulate the the connectors, the the connections basically. So what you're going to want to do, let's solder the first wire on there. And what you're going to have to do is strip the old wire. Okay. And then since so this is the black one, I'm going to use some black shrink tubing. I, it could it should be big enough to fit over the terminal like that and it'll shrink a little bit um, it doesn't really have to fit the wire too well you're just trying to keep stuff from touching it is what you're trying to do and it helps uh, with the corrosion so if you remember correctly it was something like this is what it's got to be so go ahead and tin the uh, so go ahead and tin the end of the wire with your soldering iron Making this look really difficult. Try not to get the wire too hot, or else you'll you'll melt the shrink too. <laughs> and then go tan the. Um, you might as well just go tan both battery terminals. Just do it so till you can't see that little hole in the terminal. Okay, and then so go ahead and solder the, the negative wire on there. Uh, it could be kind of any orientation. You can just twist the wire however you need to get it in there. But... So this one is the easy one. Okay, so next, strip the, uh, the positive for that one battery. And put your shrink tubing over it too if you're going to use shrink tubing. Put that over here. This may, it may melt it. You maybe have to move this back too. It's a little warning sticker. You don't have to strip it too much, maybe like a quarter of an inch or something. Go ahead and tin that. I'm going to add a little extra tin to, uh, it's like I'm doing battery surgery here now. Let's get a lot on there. Okay. This is a very powerful soldering iron too, so just in case you're wondering, it's like a, it's in like 80 watt. <laughs> it's a 80 watt soldering iron. So you don't really need a whole lot of flux with this, but... Okay, so we got one one battery done. That should be pretty strong. Pull, make sure you tug on it to see if it's strong. There's a little wire sticking out of this one. 
This one I feel we should put more, uh, more solder on. So, uh, well, since we got that battery done, we'll go ahead and bust out the... Uh... Alright, so just like the stock terminals, we're going to put a cover over them. Like so. Hopefully it fits. <laughs> It doesn't fit you you made the wire too hot try to stretch it on there looks good Let's put the black one on and they don't have to be the right colors but I just what feel like color coordinating today <laughs> all right well, we're gonna go ahead and uh, take the heat gun out Okay, one battery done. And we just need to do the other one. So, okay, so we're gonna go ahead and lay that sideways. Uh, let's do this one first because it's just by itself. It should be easy to do. So I believe I believe this one was like this soldered onto the terminal. So let's go ahead and copy that. I'm gonna go ahead and strip this. Okay, now I kind of just messed it up. <laughs> anyway. Anyway, though, you can bend the wires any way you want after. So it went kind of like that. So I'm going to go ahead and get a piece of red thingamajigger here. Thread that on there. This one, you don't have to worry about melting it so much because it's longer. So let's go ahead and get that on there. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and tin this one. Try not to burn the wire too much. You could possibly upgrade the wires to these. I think these are like 10 gauge. These are 14 gauge. Okay, they're not, they're not that thick. <laughs> you just probably just got the minimum size, you know. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and tin both of these terminals since... And just make sure you just goop it up really good. Okay, so I almost started down to the negative. You want this one else to be on the positive. So all the colors match correctly. So don't... Uh, and uh, even the battery has color terminals. So, so there's... It's almost dummy proof. But I almost pulled a... A dumb dumb move there. <laughs> Okay, so the next one is probably going to be the hardest because we have to have the batteries together. Um, go ahead, let's go ahead and put this uh, cover on. Okay, so let it cool down for a little bit and just give it a good tug to make sure you got a good solid connection there. <sighs> Blow on it to cool it down faster. All right, and then while you're doing that, you can start prepping this other one. Let's go ahead and strip this one out. So my suggestion is, I will make a suggestion at the beginning of the video. You go ahead and tin that. Since that one's kind of just dangling in the air there, I'm going to go tin it like that. So let's go ahead and put this uh, jacket on. Okay. Heat gun. Alright, so since we don't need this anymore, I'll kind of get this out of the way. The last thing is we got to do that bottom one, mm -hmm. and that's going to be the hardest because it's on the bottom like that. So I believe it go it went like this and it goes like over the top or something. So just kind of just solder it on there somehow. <laughs> I would do it like that, I guess. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and let's put our shrink tubing on there. Soldering iron. Well, that one worked really 
good. Another one that didn't go on so nicely. Let it cool down for a minute or so. Can you give it a good tug? Make sure it doesn't make sure it's on there good. Put the uh, shrink tubing on there. Let's try to shove it as far up in there as you can. I think it's gonna go like this, something like that. So just try to get it when you when you do the shrink tubing, just shrink it in the way that you think the wires are gonna move. So. Okay, and that's it. So our battery's together. Um, all right. So if you remember correctly, it's gonna go something like that. That's the whole battery assembly, and it's how it's gonna go back in the scooter like that, from where I was looking at. <laughs> just so, just make sure you remember. Okay, so here's kind of like a put them together. That's what it looks like. So you've got your uh, negative going to the breaker, and then from the breaker, it goes to the positive here. See positive and then a negative goes to the um, the controller and then this positive goes to the controller so um, these are ba basically you can hook these up together it shouldn't explode I don't recommend <laughs> Hades Burger is so confident that see <laughs> it, it's good to go <laughs> um, also you could probably get a voltmeter and stick a stick a voltmeter in there so you probably should do that, huh? Okay, just for reference yeah, purposes, that. I'm going to check the voltages. So here I should be able to check. We'll check each one, and then we'll check the whole the whole dealie. So uh, so right here we got 13.1 volts, or or right here, this one, and this. Let me just plug this in here. Yeah. Oh, it doesn't want to stay. You little bastard. Okay. Okay. 13.1 volts for the left battery. And then the right battery, check. It doesn't really matter which one you put it in. It'll be negative voltage if you get it wrong. Thirteen volts. This one's a little lower. Um, so one of them I had it in the charger before this, so. I think one of them had settled, so that's pretty close. Uh, and then you want to check uh, both of them. If you want to check both of them, put these two together somehow. Just kind of just hold them together. Put it positive here. Ooh, and try not, make sure you don't touch them okay, together. Okay, so I've got an alligator clip and I've connected these two wires together. And then we should be able to check the voltage for the whole system. Boom, 26 volts. So 13, 13 plus 13 is 26, and then one of them was 13.1, 26.1. So that adds up. That's a little uh, electronics, uh, basic electronics <laughs> experiment for you right there. So this should be good to go. And uh, so what I'm going to do right now is uh, before we put it in, I'm going to go ahead and put some, uh, put some of this liquid tape on the terminals here, on the back side here. Just, just so I can cover that exposed section so it doesn't short on anything, but it's pretty safe. This is a liquid electrical tape is what it is. They sell it in spray form too, but I wouldn't use a spray. Okay, there it is. So it's pretty much just as good as the original. Um, there is a little there's a little area back there that is exposed a little bit the wire so that's why I put that like liquid electrical tape there um, so there it is that's what it is liquid electrical tape um, you could put electrical tape on it but if it gets hot it just comes right off so I don't I wouldn't I don't think that would have worked um, you could probably try to zip tie it but that it's pretty tight fit in there <laughs> it's pretty tight fit in there I don't think there's much room but anything else. So if you remember correctly, 
the batteries kind of go like this. Um, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna wait for the electric liquid electrical tape to to dry, and then we will go put it back in, and we'll see if it works. Uh, we're pretty much almost done. All right. Here's okay, mega. his mega hair. It's been half an hour, and I feel that that's pretty good. I still see a little bit on the edge there, but meh, that's okay. It's the ground anyway, so. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put this back in the scooter and hook it up, and hopefully it'll run. Okay, there we go. This is it. So just put the batteries back in the way you found them. So I found them kind of like this. Um, you may have to adjust the wires a little better later, but let's put this one in first. I'm sure fit in there a lot looser than the uh, old battery. I think physically these should be the same size. So okay, there we go. Fits in there pretty well. Okay. Just be careful not to touch the positive wire on anything. Okay. And then the first thing to do is connect the uh, um, connect the breaker back in. I don't think it matters what direction you do it in, but just uh, let's try to do it safely. Um, yeah, I'll go, let me go move the camera real quick <laughs> okay, so you can see what I'm doing here. I, like I said, I don't think it matters what where you hook these up because it's it just connects in line with the breaker here. So you got to connect it to the breaker. I'm going to connect the red to the bottom. I don't remember if it was the top or the, I think the black was on top. So just kind of just try to get it in there as best as you can. It's I know it's kind of tough. I think the bottom one is probably the hardest one to do. Helps to kind of just work it in there. Uh, another thing you can do is probably you can probably just take it out and if you're having a real hard time getting it in. Okay, that one's in there. And go ahead and put the negative one in. And, we'll and just try to keep the wires relatively uh, neat. That's what I want to say. Put this in. Hopefully it does not explode. And then for the final one, just make sure all the wires are in this little channel here. They're not going to you know, get pinched on anything when you put the cover back on. So I, I would just say cut this thing off. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll it up. Stick, stuff it in there. And then we're just going to plug this in right here. Okay. So... Uh, at this point, uh, you can probably test the scooter out. Okay, I'm gonna fire it up. Uh, turn it on, light goes on. The light is on, you can't see it, but I, I take my word for it, the light is on. And then uh, all I have to do is twist the throttle, and there it goes. Same uh, low performance scooter. Uh, as it was before. Okay, so it's all good. Turn it off. And then uh, kind of reassemble it. So pretty much uh, assemble it the same way that you, uh, you took it apart. Okay, so I'm going to go. Alright, first thing to do is install the little, uh, little bracket. So remember it had this little piece of foam here. You can probably use a piece of cardboard too if you, if you lose the foam. It'll probably work. So if you remember correctly, I took I put the screws back in, so I want to lose them. So go ahead and put that over here. And I think it's supposed, it's supposed to be touching the batteries, so get it over the batteries. It's just to keep the batteries from jumping around when the, when the scooter is moving. Try to get it in there the same way it was before. Okay. 
Ok, so get the screws in there started. Just go tighten it up real quick. Ok, batteries are pretty secure. Just make sure, ok, so at this point make sure all the wires are like inside the little tub. And they will not get pinched when you put the deck back on. Right now would probably be a good time to lube your chain too. If, uh... Okay. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the rear screws so on first. And put the rear screws on first. So just put the just put them in there. They should go in all the way, and then just start threading them in. Try, try your best. <laughs> it's, a little, it's a little difficult to do it blind here. Sorry, right. Hayes Meg is having some difficulties here. There we go. <laughs> okay, so go ahead and get your uh, wrench. Tighten it down. So I will go put the, uh, and then just make sure you just put them back in the same place as you found. It's pretty straightforward. That's it. All done. And then uh, you probably want to fire it up one more time. So you can see the red light is on right there. And when I twist the throttle, it goes. Uh, the, uh, the, uh, the E100 doesn't do that. The E100 you have to kick off to get it to start. This one you can start anytime you want. Alright, so there you go. That's how to... Uh, that's how to replace the battery on your E200 uh, Razor scooter. Um, it may be different if you. Th uh, this is a model uh, version 36. It may be different if uh, if you have a different one. Um, if you watch this video and you feel that uh, you feel that you don't have the um, electrical know-how, electrical skills, and mechanical skills to perform this, don't don't do it. <laughs> it, it could it could be dangerous. Um, it requires a certain amount of skill. Um, if you're like, if you don't know how to operate like a soldering iron or, you know, do some wiring, don't, don't do this. <laughs> don't do it yourself. But if you do, uh, I'd say have at it, you know, it's not really that hard. Um, uh, if, if you, if you don't, you feel that, um, you can't do the electrical part, the, the mechanical part is pretty easy. It's all it is is taking the deck out and the bracket out. Um. There is a, I think there's a, some kits you can buy on eBay or Amazon or wherever you buy scooter parts. They have a harness that you can, that has the um, the connectors already on it, and you just basically, you basically take your old batteries out and then you plug the harnesses into your new batteries, and then you just put the new batteries in and you plug it in. Um, if you if you feel uncomfortable about soldering, then uh, that's the way to go. But uh, what I I prefer to solder it. That's the that's the best way I, I think. Uh, the spade connectors they get loose and then you know it's it's no good. <laughs> and they can get corroded and stuff. Um, there's not there's less chance of that happening with this. Now I could have taken it a step further and put some um, I could have put some uh, uh, like silicone uh, uh, sealant on it on the terminals and stuff. That's actually that would have been better than the stock razor. 
Uh, that's what I thought was on there, but it's actually hot glue is what they use. So you could use hot glue to insulate it, or you can use a silicone glue or something to insulate the terminals. Um, yeah, so so there you go. That's how you change the battery, and like a bunch of, uh, you know, if that was my little vlog. It's not really a how-to, it's a how-to vlog. Uh, that's how... Um, I feel that if you if you don't have the right uh, the you know the proper electrical skills and the mechanical skills don't do this it's, it's a you know one you need like spe some kind of some specialized equipment and tools um, and if you don't have them then you know uh, I would suggest get the plug-in kits um, and that's pretty straightforward I don't know if they have any kind of instructions there might be videos for that somewhere else but uh, but this is how you do it and this is how you do it if you were to solder it. Um, Alright, so I'm going to go for a ticket for a little test drive. <laughs> Alright, here's my go.